What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I'm going to open up both of the 2015 Mega Tins for you guys. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to pick up a couple of these. I've been kind of in the mood to open up some Mega Tins lately, so expect a bunch of different ones. And of course, uh, we actually got the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and the Dark Rebellion XC Dragon Mega Tins today, so... Let's see what we get from them. I don't know. I mean, I like both these Mega Tins. They had probably some of the better promos, and, uh, yeah, like the super shiny, like, I forget what it's even called. Was it, like, a prismatic secret rare? Um, no, it's something else. I, I forget exactly. But it's, like, crazy. Yeah, I don't even know if it says on the back. But, yeah, I, I just remember the, the main promos being super shiny. And, uh, real quick, though, before we begin, I actually have a sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Are you tired of carrying around your normal wallet that you have that's like a trifold one and you just have so much junk in it? Maybe you got that wallet from a friend, girlfriend, something, parents even, and you don't really realize how much stuff you carry in it. Well, with Ridge Wallet, it's more minimalistic. Not only does it open up from the top here where you can put your, like, your cards and stuff in, then also it has a money clip on it. And yeah, I mean, it's basically everything you need in a wallet. So anyway, check out their wallets. There will be a coupon code, which is Cybernaut, of course, in the description. If you use that code, you will get a discount. And also it helps support the channel. So I greatly appreciate that. And not only that too, they have different styles of these wallets as well. I believe the one I have is carbon fiber. They have titanium and a variety of different styles of stuff too. Check them out. Link in the description. Thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring my channel. And again, if you check them out, it helps support my channel as well. So I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's the sponsor. Hope you guys uh, will check them out. Link in the description. It's been amazing to actually have a few sponsors here and there. And uh, if you support them, then it really helps out my channel too. So links are always in the description on that. And I really appreciate it because you guys know all the time, YouTube being YouTube, it helps out. So yeah, <laughs> but I guess enough of that sellout stuff, right? Let's go on ahead and get to these tins. Anyway, First off, yeah, here you go. It's like this secret secret rare is what I want to call it. I, I think there's an official name, but uh, Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. I mean, it's just so shiny. It'll blind you. <laughs> then we have Old Entity Hastor and Castell. And then each of these packs, you get three hollows, just like with any mega pack. So let's see what we got. Megatons are always good, so we'll see. Super heavy, let's see. Uh, number 48. Uh, okay, upside down. <laughs> Maybe they're all upside down, we'll see. Uh, we have Perform Pal Trump Witch. Nope, okay. Just the only one that's gonna do that to me, all right. <laughs> Sylvan Charity for Ultra Rare. Then we actually got Cleefort Disc, Secret Rare, which, man, that looks really cool as a secret. And then also we got Big C Water of the Yang Zing. So actually I got one of the Yang Zings as well. Not bad. That's kind of funny, though. I was wondering if it was going to be all of them or what, but yeah. Next up. I think what are some of the pricier ones to get from these? I mean, I remember, just like with any Mega Tins, they're all worth getting, especially if you can find them cheaper. So, you can't really go wrong when you're guaranteed three hollows per pack. More Super Heavies, Metaphys. Have, I'm just going to turn this one around. I know you see the Ultra here, but yeah. <laughs> Panzer Dragon. Then we have, of course, Noble Knights of the Round Table. So one of my favorite field spells. I mean, come on, that artwork's amazing. Then, oh, hey, there we go. Uh, we got uh, Yazi Evil the Yang Zing. That's one of the better reprints, too. I'll take that. I feel like that's going to come in handy now with our new rules and Mestral and all that. And then also Chaos XC Barry and Hope. Not bad. Yazi's actually really good to get, though. There's so many cards I'm looking at now since uh, the Master Rule change or Revision or whatever you want to call it. So I think that's one of them we're going to see, well, more of, basically. Still wonder if Yang Zings might get a break on the ban list. Maybe even a new card. Like it, They seem like one of those archetypes that could get new support, you know? All right, so we got another Performa Pal. I know, I, again, it reveals, it reveals the ultra rare. Uh, we have a Performa Pal Cheer Mole, Metaphys Horus, which is, again, pretty good, actually. Then also we got Infernoid, uh, uh, how do you say this one? Uh, Anoku? I, I think is how you pronounce it, but yeah, I think that one's pretty good to get to. I don't remember uh, on uh, on some of these, but uh, yeah, Infernoid, can't really go wrong. And then Shadal Core. Well, there you go, one of the Shadal cards. Oh, there you go. That's the real MVP. 
<laughs> Fiend Donkey, I love that face. It's like the troll face or something. What in the world? It just looks so stupid. But I think that was a pretty good tin. Not bad. Put that together and there. So our promos aren't like running away or whatever was going on over there. And now for the Odd Eyes tin. Which one's going to be better? Place your bets now, right? I have no idea. There we go. I think this was like the case too where didn't I get like an extra Dark Rebellion and one less Odd Eyes tin or something? I think it was something like that. Let's see, we have, uh, yeah, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, still super shiny. I, I kind of like this rarity, even though it's just too much, really, too. Then, of course, we have uh, Elder Nity Norden, which, probably the biggest promo out of this. And then also Majesty's Fiend. So, yeah, Norden. You think we're ever going to see this card again? I don't know. <laughs> well, if since we have the new Master Rule stuff going on, I kind of doubt it now. But, we'll see. It's been weirder things happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! these days. Would be interesting. And also scary. Alright, this one's actually the right way it should be. Uh, we have Perform Pal Whip Snake. Then we uh, have Yang Zing Creation. So actually a Yang Zing card. Then uh, Solemn Scolding. Not bad either. That's a pretty decent card. That's one of those that can kind of come back every so often. Was good in Noble Knights. And then also Artifact Scythe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that would have been really good to get before it was in uh, Battles of Legend. That's when this card went was a skyrocketed, you know, because it's a good card. Either way, though, I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> Either way, it's a good card. One of those artifacts that uh, comes in handy. Like Lancia or something, you know? Ooh, already a good common. Hymn of Light. All well, these ritual spells, you don't realize how some of them are kind of tougher to get. Well, there's Lancia, by the way, too. Stellar Knight. Have uh, Galaxy Tyranno. Then Artifact Sanctum. Now, that was a big reprint from this, too. Again, I think it's been reprinted since then, but another good artifact card, so I'll definitely take that. Then El Shaddaa uh, Grace. Well, there you go, for the Shaddaa Structure decks, if you want a Seeker Ear one. And then uh, the Monarchs Erupt. Oh, man, that's actually really good, too. Well, there you go. <laughs> Not bad. Getting more Monarch cards lately. Seems like in a lot of my openings is what I mean. I've been getting some of the Monarchs, so that is really good here. I'm trying to find the Seeker Ear. There we are. And now we're down to the last pack. What can we end with? Let's see. I don't even remember what was, like, the priciest from these or what. To be honest, we will see. There we go. More artifacts, despot, numbers. Then a Super Heavy Samurai Big Ben K. Have uh, uh, Jotao, or jo Jotao uh, Darkness the Yang Zing. I, I forget how you say that, but yeah, hopefully I'm close enough. Then a Pot of Riches. That's such a creepy looking card, honestly. <laughs> and then uh, Karagorgon MLS at Night. Now that's, it's been a while since I've seen this XC monster. That was one that was used in a lot of different decks. I used it the other day in the uh, the game for the Switch. So, kind of funny to see that now. But, yeah, I, I feel like we ended pretty well. I wish the Seeker was a bit better, but the Ultra and the, and the Super were pretty good from that. So, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, just something kind of random, really, and... Like I keep saying, you really can't go wrong with Mega Tins. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and all that too. And like I said, check out our sponsor because uh, it's been helping out tremendously. And it's making it so it's just a little bit more stable to be on YouTube these days. And also too, uh, it's going to make it where it's a lot easier for me to uh, find different packs and add more variety and stuff too on this channel so uh let me know if there's any other openings you guys would like to see especially older openings and stuff too as always though thank you guys for watching again like and subscribe that stuff always helps out tremendously thank you for watching and of course i will catch you guys later see ya